This morning, I woke up and saw that I had sold three $25 products on one of my new Shopify stores. And what's cool with this new store is that I get to keep literally every dollar that I make because there's no crazy overhead. The product I'm selling has been made almost entirely with the help of ChatGPT. Right now, digital products are the easiest thing to sell through social media as long as you have a decent idea on how to use your laptop and phone. David, who's another member inside of DDM, sent me this today that he's earning over $1,000 per day right now selling a simple ebook on a Shopify store. And right now in this video, I want to walk you through how you could get started with this, even if you are a beginner using the help of artificial intelligence, more specifically ChatGPT. Now, I want to clarify here, I'm probably like you, not a ChatGPT expert by any means. I'm just a driven entrepreneur who's figured out how to use it to my advantage to help me make more money online. And my hope is that with this video, there's at least one thing that sticks out to you and helps you so that you can make your very first digital sales. So now let's hop onto my computer and get started. There are five simple steps we're gonna do here together right now that cover the entire winning digital product creation process using ChatGPT. And I've already put together prompts that we're going to be using. And if you have ChatGPT+, Plus, I've created a custom GPT to help even shorten the process even further. So if you have ChatGPT+, Plus, you can use this. I'll put a link in the description. If not, it's completely fine. We're gonna cover all the steps needed and I'll show you more of the GPT later because the first thing we need to do as a beginner on here is identify target niches. With selling digital products online and more specifically digital dropshipping, we always have to start off with a pain point category. So what we wanna do here is essentially use this prompt to help find specific target groups that we could sell digital products to. So I put in this prompt right here and what it's gonna tell me now, these are five target groups for digital products, each with a specific focus on solving problems for that group, okay? We have freelancers and small business owners, educators and students, health and wellness enthusiasts, content creators and influencers, parents and families. Okay, so I mean, pretty general approach for pretty much just getting a good idea on what are some different audiences and people that have problems that could be solved with digital products because all of us have problems, right? Something in health, wealth, happiness, relationships, maybe we are single, we don't wanna be, maybe we're fat and we don't wanna be fat. These are all problems that could be solved with the help of digital products. So what we wanna do first is just even identify a target group. So after I have this just list and idea of five general target niches, the next thing I wanna do is just validate the right one and see which is going to be best to actually sell to specifically as a beginner. So this prompt says rank these by highest purchase intent and include statistics that support the demand for each group. So now I'm gonna paste this here and it should rank these five different niches by exactly what I said. So first we're seeing here, health and wellness enthusiasts with the high purchase intent. Uh, the wellness market size was valued at 4.75 trillion in 2022 and is expected to grow yearly at 6.2%. Digital fitness and wellness apps have seen significant growth with the market projected to reach 14.64 billion by 2027. Next, I see here content creators and influencers, big market size, freelancers and small business owners, and then educators and students, parents and families coming in, you know, more towards the tail end of this list. So now with using AI, you also have to apply some common sense, right? And just some critical thinking of your own because AI is never going to really give us exactly what we want, at least at this point, because of more so user error. I'm not putting in the perfect prompts, so I'm not getting the exact answer that I want back. And that's something that I think will become easier over time with AI and ChatGPT. But with what we're looking at right here, in my mind, in my experience with selling digital products so far, I would say something like health and wellness is the biggest market size by far, definitely. There's a huge market for this space and this niche. But with digital products, I've found that it's actually a lot more difficult to sell in this niche specifically just because there are so many more people selling similar types of products online. So as a beginner, I would think there would be more value actually in this second category here of content creators and influencers because these are people that make money online doing something specific and there are a lot of problems they have. Maybe they wanna get more followers, maybe they want to get more brand deals and there are digital products that we could sell to them to help them do that. So now what I'm gonna do is type in a prompt to just kind of build on that um, and that way we can move into the next step. I'm choosing target group number two, which is the influencers and creators. List five specific problems of this group. 
And here now we have listed, because I just wanted to get a better idea. We have content planning and scheduling, visual content creation, audience engagement and growth, monetization of content. Definitely makes a lot of sense. Kind of like the things I just said, just explained in a different way. And I like that ChatGPT has also included here specific product examples just tied to the solutions of the problem they're having, like templates for sponsorship proposals, affiliate marketing resources, branding kits. I mean, a lot of different things on here that are helpful, which leads into the third point here, choosing the right product type. So if we're using ChatGPT, we've already made a lot of progress in just a couple minutes here. We've already defined, okay, if we're gonna sell a digital product that needs to solve a specific problem for a specific group of people, we've defined who our specific audience is, and we now have ideas on what problems they're actually having. And we've validated it by seeing the actual market size and money that's being spent towards this group. Now we need to choose the right product type. So I've created this somewhat long prompt, nothing too crazy, where essentially I just provide a little bit of context. You know, that's really the big difference between this thread right here and the custom GPT I made is that the GPT just has more context already. But with this new thread, we're essentially building something from scratch. So we have to add more context, which right here, I'm putting the top product types for digital dropshipping right now are things like digital planners, problem solving eBooks, itineraries, just general ideas and things that are working well right now in the space. And I say generate five product ideas that solve one main pain point uh, problem for the chosen niche. Now we have these five different product ideas, such as a social media content calendar template, which is a digital planner designed for content creators to keep track of their posting and planning ahead. I like that. Notion template for content creation workflow. Those are cool. I've even sold one of those. AI powered content idea generator. These are cool. I think it would be very helpful for the creative block that some creators experience and want to get through. And then here is a problem solving ebook for mastering scheduling. I don't think that's a very significant problem that would have a high purchase intent. And then an animations pack. Animation packs are cool. There's a company out there called Creator Set that sells different social media animations and they do pretty well, but creating that type of product with ChatGPT is not going to be something we can do. So now let's narrow this down further with another prompt. I said each product should be able to be created using ChatGPT and ChatGPT kind of slapped me back in the face and said, I could do all of these. I said, with the creation process, use ChatGPT to do this, to do that. And I guess technically speaking, it makes sense. Like if I wanted to create the animations, ChatGPT could tell me how to make the animations if I have no idea how to do it myself. But I'm gonna go a different route that we're already using and approved. And that is using ChatGPT to actually create the contents and the product itself. So moving over to the step number four here, creating the product outline. Essentially, this is just a very short prompt that gets us into building the outline of the product of our choice. So I'm going to go with the AI powered content idea generator. I think it's gonna be the simplest and most effective one out of these examples here that we can do together right now. I said, let's start the process of creating product number three. First, generate the outline for what this product would include and then we can refine further. And now we have this entire outline of what this product would entail of just from an outline perspective, which is a lot of different things, right? Well, there's one thing I like to do when using ChatGPT that can help give us the best result possible. And what that is, is asking ChatGPT, what questions can I answer for you that will help better refine this response? And now I've been hit with the thesaurus of questions from ChatGPT. And the good news is you don't have to answer all of them. You just answer the ones that you can as best as you can. And I'm gonna go through here and just take a look at the main ones. So that way we can get a result that gives us a better outline for what we're looking for. So the first one is like, who is the actual target audience? You know, is it new content creators, experienced influencers, a specific niche, what platforms they primarily use? You know, these are the questions that I think are the most important out of here right now, because it's a lot easier to sell a digital product when it's for a specific niche even further defined from just content creators in general. Instead, I could say it's for content creators that are over 10K followers, but aren't over that 100K mark. And one of the biggest things they're struggling with is just knowing what to post. As you can see, I've put some pretty basic answers here, but let's put those in and see how this now reacts and gives us a new outline. So once you have an outline for your digital product, if it's an ebook, if it's a sheet, if it's a template, then what you can do is start actually generating the content that you want to use. Now, the way that we've done this is we just go one thing at a time, one section at a time. Think of it like as a book. 
I'm not going to generate the whole book. I would start with chapters. And the reason is more so for quality purposes to make sure that I am getting the highest quality output and response from the AI tool that I can. Because if you tell it to do it all at once, it's usually either going to fail the response or it's going to come up with something that just isn't as quality as it possibly could be. And what helps is that when you go one thing at a time, you can take that piece of content and let's say move it over to a Google Doc and then just keep adding on to there. Because it's not like ChatGPT is gonna just deliver us the perfect product at the end. We're essentially using it to help generate content that we can then repurpose into another format with you know more perceived value and then can start selling it. And this process really doesn't take long. You can do this you know, within an hour, make one simple product. Section one is now created. This is just an introduction and instructions on how this product is actually gonna work for them. And I think what would make this product even more valuable is if you maybe attach it as a PDF ebook type of product, but then with each section, you also include a spreadsheet template that includes all of the things here for them to be able to use it in a more ideal format, something that looks better so they could just copy the prompt, adjust it for their own answer if it's a template, and then they can take the output and add it somewhere where it's organized. This is not only gonna help the user be able to use it, but it also just increases the perceived value, which is gonna help make more sales and increase the conversion rate. And once you've generated all of your product contents, you can then repurpose that into something like a Canva template and use the same chat GPT thread to help you generate the product name, the product description, so that you can go ahead and put this onto a platform to be able to start marketing and selling. And if you're using the digital product researcher GPT that I made, then you'll see here that there are some main prompts that you can start with. And it's basically designed in a way where I want you to be able to use it to not only get winning digital product ideas, but also to be able to know where to find more examples of sellers for the type of product that you're looking to sell. And just to show you like kind of what that looks like, here are some of the ways that it's showing. And there's also some 300 IQ ways you could go about this, like going onto the Shopify app store and looking for digital product download apps, such as Easy Digital Products or Fetch App, and then looking at the reviews on those products, it basically shows the Shopify store that reviewed that app and you can see what digital products they're selling. And if you just watch this entire video and you're like, wow, that seems like a lot of work. I don't really wanna do that. I would rather just start selling something immediately. Then what I would recommend you do is just buy the rights to an existing digital product out there. That way you can start reselling it immediately or modify it and then start reselling it. So that way you can just hit the ground running. And everything in this video is meant to encapsulate the possibilities of digital drop shipping as the world is becoming more and more digital and more and more people are buying digital products. So if you wanna start now, it's still pretty early. And if you wanna learn more, just message me the word freedom on Instagram and I'll send you more details of my challenges. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a big like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.